Build as a digital sequel to The Lost World, Steven Spielberg's second Jurassic Park movie, Trespasser was both groundbreaking and a complete disaster. It looks like seven. Released in 1998, the large jungle environments, procedural dinosaur animation, and real-time physics were impressive at the time, resulting in a lot of breathless previews and overblown pre-release buzz. But when it was finally released after a year-long delay, it was a mess of half-baked ideas, it barely ran on even the most powerful PCs, and it featured a peculiar ARM-based control system that was so hilariously clumsy, it came to define the game. Trespasser is set on Isla Sauna, where John Hammond's dinosaurs were created in a secret laboratory, before being shipped over to Jurassic Park on nearby Isla Nubla. Following the events of The Lost World, the island has become a prehistoric nature reserve and is completely overrun with dinosaurs, from giant peaceful herbivores to aggressive carnivores with a taste for human flesh. And your plane has crashed there, leaving you stranded, alone and at the very bottom of the food chain. You play as Anne, a woman cursed with an unusually long, bendy arm. It's with this unwieldy, physics-enabled appendage that you do pretty much everything in Trespasser, whether it's firing a gun or stacking boxes to hop over a fence. Ow. You reach out with the left mouse button, move your arm with the mouse, and grab stuff with the right button. But it's so unpredictable, twitchy, and difficult to control that you spend most of the game dropping things and flailing hopelessly. To really show off that physics system, Isla Sauna is scattered with thousands of crates. There are, in fact, more crates per square inch than dinosaurs, and you'll often find yourself having to make rickety staircases out of them to get past obstacles. Which would be fine if it wasn't for that idiotic arm knocking them over. But it's worth noting that Trespasser was released six years before Half-Life 2 wowed us all with its crate stacking physics puzzles. So while DreamWorks didn't quite nail it, it was something of a pioneer. The arm is so ungainly that it's actually comical, although it can be hard to see the funny side when a velociraptor is charging at you, and you accidentally throw your gun stupidly to one side instead of firing it. And because everything Anne does is governed by this silly, floppy tentacle she calls an arm, the whole game suffers. Trespasser is far from a good game, but it's an interesting one. In some respects, it's a faithful and worthwhile extension of the Jurassic Park universe, adding further depth to the character of John Hammond and filling in some previously unseen backstory. But in almost every other sense, it's a baffling, frustrating experience, rendered hilarious by the absurd, gangly arm of its protagonist. 